What is going on guys? My name is Owen and I know I haven't made a video in a while but I feel like now that I have time I should get back into it. I've got some new pieces and I've got a lot of things I want to talk about but first I know I haven't really introduced myself very well in my previous videos I never really talked about who I am or what I do but don't worry because after the introduction I'm going to be talking about some Alix alternatives since I know it's going to be a really hot brand this year in 2018 and it's very pricey and there are a lot of pieces that look really really similar so I'll be going over all those and how to cop them and where to cop them. So if you are already follow me on Instagram you probably know a lot of this information um, but I am an art student I go to art school in Georgia but I'm from Boston and I interned at a clothing reselling shop like a supreme reselling shop in Boston called size run from there I I got connected with um, with Ian Connor and he took my number and he started giving me like little projects to work on and um, now I'm like his personal graphic designer. I have done projects like Team Satan 666, which I'm sure a lot of you know of. I did all of the graphics and designs for the Sicko project, which a lot of you probably seen um, the t-shirt that Virgil and Ian were wearing. I've also worked on a lot of the Revenge Storm projects. I did some of the posters for Revenge Storm also. And as of like a couple weeks ago, I'm working with uh, Daff from Siberia Hills on his next uh, collection for spring summer. But yeah, if you guys want to hear like a more um, full length introduction to like how I got started in fashion, how I started working with these guys. Um, I can do like a whole separate video about it, but today like the main bulk of it is just gonna be going over the Alix alternatives. Now I think the main item that people think of when they hear Alix is the chest rig that like Kanye and like a lot of other people have been seen wearing. It's already sold out, at least the, the new one is sold out. I think there might be some listings for the previous season one which has like a different zipper cord. I know a lot of other YouTubers have already covered this item like uh, Fernando and Andrew Fredette but I also managed to purchase this item off Amazon. So here is the kosher mole radio harness. It's basically the same thing as the Elise one. The main differences are like in these straps they're like a place a little bit differently and they're different widths and also this has the same uh, like zipper extension as the previous Elite season one whereas the new one that's coming out has like a ring that hangs off the zipper also I think I believe it has a different interior this one right here has a bright orange interior but other than that they're pretty much the same they have different straps and a different backing but like that's like such a minor detail that anybody can overlook I got this off Amazon for $43 I know right now they're sold out but they might restock soon so I'll leave a link down in the description so we can go buy this. People think that this is in Leaks bag all the time, but it's really not. I have pre-ordered the um, the new one, which is now sold out. So when I get that, I'll definitely review it for you guys and like show you the main differences between this one and the new one. But yeah, this was the kosher radio harness. So I think the second most recognizable Leaks item would be the ROA hiking boots. A lot of people don't really know this and can't really tell the difference, but ROA has their own hiking boots and they have very, very similar models to the Leaks ones. I don't have any of the plain ROA ones, but I do have two um, of the Elix ones. I've got the brown leather paint splatter ones with the red laces and our high top. And I've got these black leather ones that are a low top and have a sock liner. I know that these ones are completely sold out. I was like so lucky to get these. These ones I believe you can still get on sale if you wanted to. But there are some ROA hiking boots, just plain ones, not Elix collaboration that look very, very similar. They have a black low top one. It's not leather, but it is really, really similar. I think it's like a nylon mesh material. And then they also have a high top brown leather one with the red laces. They have two versions of those. They have one that has like a red accent on the heel and one that doesn't. They're both on sale right now. I'll leave a link down to one that I saw on Farfetch. I believe the, the red high tops are like 170 bucks, which is like a really, really good deal for some legit hiking boots. But yeah, those are super sick. I'm definitely thinking about buying the, the high top black ones that, that have like a gray heel on them. I think those are super sick and yeah. So this next item, I know a lot of people don't really know about it yet because it's only available for pre-order on one website, which is Luisa Villaroma, but it's this uh, black mesh tactical vest and it looks super sick and it's super military-esque. It looks like it's kind of hard to wear to be honest, but it's really, really sick and I definitely want to pre-order it. But I was looking on Amazon for some uh, cheap alternatives because I feel like there might be something out there and I ended up finding this black mesh fishing vest. Um, it's super, super sick. It's got like tons of pockets all over it. And it's got tons of zippers and there's no zipper in the middle that like connects the two panels. So it's just got these, um, these little clasps and it's got hooks hanging off and it's like really, really cheap too. So I definitely recommend picking this up. It's only like $25, maybe $30. 
Um, you do have to size up a lot. I got a double XL, which is like probably like a US like large to XL. So kind of use that for size reference. Um, I definitely recommend like if you're like my build, I'm like 6'2", like 155 pounds, go with the double XL because it'll fit good and be a little bit oversized because you don't want it to like grip you. Um, but this is the back. It's got like a, a, a nylon panel um, and it goes all the way through. It's like a super flowy piece and you can wear it um, under stuff and like like under like a jacket would be kind of sick. Just having like, the buckle stick out and pop through. So I definitely recommend picking this up if you can. It's only like $25 and the quality is there. It's like, you know, it's, you can't expect too much for $25, but it's really sick. So this next alternative is another pair of shoes, but instead of the hiking boots, it's the Alix Old School Vans. These are the ones that have pink glitter laces. I know it's kind of weird, but they're actually kind of sick. I actually really like them. But if you want to, you could just pick up a regular pair of Old Schools and then swap out the laces. I'll show like an image of um, some pink laces I found on eBay. They have like the glitter infusion that these ones have. It's like laced into the actual shoelaces, not like it's sprinkled on. The next alternative is to this Alix Nylon Bomber. It's black and it has like this really cool collar and it says um, Naomi Av on the back, which is I believe where Matthew Williams grew up. All right, correct me on that if I'm wrong, but um, it's available for pre-order right now. I have pre-ordered pre it already, so I'll be reviewing it when I get it in the mail. But I was like, well, since these are Alpha Industries jackets, maybe they have one that's super similar. And I went on Amazon and I found one that has the same collar. It's got a little bit of a different cut around like the, the waist and like around the, the body of the jacket, but the sleeves and the collar are like exactly the same. It's called the Alpha Industries CWU45 flight jacket. So yeah, like some of the differences would be it has um, the red thing that hangs down. I'm not really a fan of that to be honest. And it has this patch, but I believe if you just take a seam ripper, you could probably take that off yourself. Um, if you were to get this, I'd probably size up because for the Elix jacket, it's kind of baggy. So if you want the same look, just size up, obviously. I'll leave a link down in the description for where to get this jacket. It's on Amazon. It's like $135-ish, but it's like Alpha Industries. So you know like the quality is going to be good. For the next item, I could only find one listing on eBay for it. So there's only one available right now. But I'm sure like with like some quick Google searches, you could probably find more. It's an alternative to this Elix Alpha Industries Snow Camo. Um, bomber jacket. It's got like this thick printing. I believe they've just screen printed it over and over and over and over and over until it like builds up and it feels 3D. Um, but really other than that one detail, this jacket is pretty much just an Alpha Industries jacket. There's no like special touches to it. There isn't a pocket, but you can see where they've ripped off the pocket. I'll leave a link down for this eBay Alpha Industry snow camo jacket. I believe it's like $100, but it's only one. Obviously, if you wanna buy it, go ahead right now because it'll probably sell out kind of soon. It's an extra large, so it'll probably fit a lot of people. For this one, I went with an extra large, and it's super, super big, but I, I like that look. I want it to be really big on me. But yeah, I believe the one on eBay is also nylon, so it'll have the, the same material as this one. They've probably just used the same model and they just screen printed this in the back. But yeah. I definitely recommend picking that up. All right, so for this last item, I know it's super, super sus and super weird, but on Black Friday, Essence was having a huge sale and like everything at least was like 50% off. So I added like a bunch of stuff to my cart. And a few days later, I got an email saying that one of my items was canceled and it was this uh, Elix chest harness. It's like a leather chest harness. I'll leave like an image right now. It's super, super sick. I wish I got it but they sent me an email saying that it was out of stock even though I was able to purchase it and check out. Um, so I was kind of bummed out and I uh, did some digging, I did some research. I had to go through like some weird shit to find this, but I found a, I found a black leather chest harness. Um, I'll leave like a link down to this one in the description. It's not exactly what the picture looks like to be honest, but it was like $50, so it was like a good experiment. Um, it is really similar to the to the Elix one. Some of the major differences would probably be the thickness of the leather straps. Like on the Elix one, the leather is like much thicker. This one's kind of thin. There's no purpose to this at all. Like it's just a showpiece. It's not really something that has any sort of use at all. I don't really know if I'll if I'll keep this. Maybe I'll like sell it or give it to one of you guys. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, this is this is like a an interesting little piece. I don't know if I'd recommend picking this up, to be honest. I'd probably just, you know, hold off, save yourself some trouble. Don't, don't go looking for one that's really similar to the X one. You'll just, you go down into a dark place 
and it's kind of weird, to be honest. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. I have a lot of new pieces, so I could show those off, or I could do more alternatives or a styling video. I'm open to whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think of the setup. I'm going to be changing like three pieces on the wall every day. This is just a leaks, like a vintage public enemy shirt, and then undercover patchwork jacket. I'll be switching this up every video, so it'll be like fresh content, like a fresh background. Um, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.